Tuesday. It is the 20th of May already. Can you believe that? In fact, North Carolina's flag has the May 20th date on that flag, and your job is to find out why. It's very, it has hmm. a very specific meaning. Interesting. Take a look at the North Carolina state flag and you'll see that. Anyway, this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best. Good Tuesday morning. Hope you're all doing well today. Well, Kim, on our program today, what's going on? Well, you recently talked with Kate Daniels of oh, the Chamber of Commerce. I did, I did. Yes, And I bet she's telling you all kinds of things she that are happening. all kinds of things that are happening. I can't wait till you see this. <laughs> we also have the Arts Council. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is just a, a video clip of uh, some of the beautiful artwork that you find at the Arts Council on, uh, on the corner of Walnut and John Street. And if you've not been by lately, the gallery is beautiful. I went by last week. It is beautiful. It is filled with all kinds of local artists. Mm -hmm. And they have beautiful paintings, drawings, all kinds of things all in their gallery. So, I'm so stop glad. by. So glad you said that because guess what we're going to see? What are we going to see? That's what we're going to see. The gallery? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Who knew? There you go. Who knew? That's right. All right. <laughs> Today is the 20th. It's Weights and Measures Day. Oh, really? Oh, my. <sighs> okay. <laughs> why, why do we have to do that? I don't know. That's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> okay. I don't care about anything else. Anyway. <laughs> we can tie that all into Go Wayne Go. How about that? Oh, that's a great That'd idea. Work. Go Wayne Go. It was on this day in the year 1899. You, you see, I quickly got away from that. I know. 1899 it was. A driver by the name, a driver now, 1899. By what the was name he driving? Jacob German. Mm -hmm. He was driving a New York City taxi cab. Okay. The year was 1899. You got this now, right? I'm listening. Uh, he became the first driver to be arrested for speeding in the city of New York. He was whipping his taxi cab all over Lexington Avenue in New York City mm. and being just a general pain in the neck. By going the over and faster than the posted 12 mile per hour speed limit. So he got a ticket. What kind of car was he driving in, in that time frame? Well, 1899, it was a very slow car. Cool. And very small. <laughs> and, uh, but it was still a cab. It was a taxi. Okay. Yeah, you know, he was for hire. We believe you. Yeah, thank you. You're the only one. <laughs> All right. Oh, gracious. All right. Let's go to our. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our interview now. Sounds it's going good. to be kind of a kind of a, a long program today. So here we go. Today we welcome the Chamber of Commerce President Kate Daniels, Wayne County Chamber of Commerce. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm so good. I'm thank so you. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you very much. Kate comes by every once in a while. We talk about things going on at the Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. and in Wayne County in general. Mm -hmm. So, I, and I hate to even ask what's new because I know there's always something <laughs> new. And I always say, how much time do we have? Well, we'll take it. Whatever <laughs> time you want. Well, how much time you want, you know? All right, all right, let's go. Where do we start? No, well, we, you know, I'll, ta I'll tell you something fitting to start. Um, every year yeah. in the month of May, the President of the United States um, declares Small Business Week. Yes. Which is wonderful. Yes, it is. So nationwide, you know, we hope people are talking about and recognizing the importance of small business. And I think that is nice and wonderful and well-deserving. However, yes, we at the Wayne County of Chamber of Commerce recognize that small business is a big business in Wayne County, and we celebrate it every single day of the year. Oh, I love that. So, you know, that's, that's um, something that we're talking a lot about yeah. is small business is big business. And when you look at the number of small businesses that are in our community mm -hmm. and what they give back in our community, mm -hmm. um, you know, we talk a lot about when you're shopping, bring your, keep your dollars in Wayne County. You work hard to earn your money and spend it locally. And the beautiful cycle that happens when you shop locally so you're talking about jobs and investment and tax dollars and all these wonderful things that make the world go round. And our, our world right here in Wayne County mm -hmm. is a better world because of small businesses and large business and industry and all that stuff. Um, and North Carolina is thriving because of it and we want to see more of that growth. So oh the chamber throughout the year works to um, promote and encourage growth. Um, in business in Wayne County. We want to recruit businesses mm -hmm. in Wayne County. We want to retain them and we want to celebrate when they they grow and do bigger things. So for this month, you know, we're asking, you know, say thank you to a small business owner. Um, they're all around you. They make our world um, a better place and a stronger community, but do it year round. And we want that top of mind awareness of what it means to shop locally. Wow. All I said was, where do we start? <laughs> and you did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but look, yeah. when people think of corporate America, right. they're thinking of the major corporations, right. big businesses, but the small business person, 
And I'm not talking about small like five foot two. I'm talking <laughs> about the small business person. Is uh, that's the cornerstone of America? It that entrepreneurial is. spirit is so important. It is. If you have an idea for a business, go for it. Go for it. And there are there are tremendous resources right here in Wayne County. The, yes. Um, the business uh, and industry center over at Wayne Community College, Amazing. Charles Gaylor. I hope he's yeah. been on your show. If not, you need to grab him. He is doing wonderful things over at Wayne Community College, and they're helping people either when they're looking to start a business, mm -hmm. like I've got this idea. Mm -hmm. Can I come and sit down with you and talk about, you know, where this could go? Or people, some of the people he works with have been in business for 10 years. And they realize, you know, I, I'd like to come and see what other resources are there. So it's, a, um, it's always exciting being at the Chamber. But the month of May has really, we've been pushing out to our members great opportunities for, um, you know, empowering yourself and your employees. Um, a perfect example coming up, um, we have Kathy Graham um, who's doing an employee law update um, and that these are about labor laws. So small businesses, you're focused on running your business, you know, being on top of things. This is a one hour free seminar at the chamber wow. at eight o'clock in the morning. We'll feed you breakfast. We want you to come, wow. send your HR person, whatever. She does a phenomenal job. She's offered to do this the last couple of years mm -hmm. um, and she goes to you know, schools and training and is up to date on it. And, and she just does a, a great, great job. And I'll, I'll tell you the, um, the teaser on the marketing piece was how to stay out of court, labor law update. So, um, you know, that's gonna be an exciting thing. And we had our small business expo um, just not too long ago mm -hmm. where, where we celebrated lots of businesses at Herman Park Center um, and other great seminars, one on focusing your priorities. So we talk about how great it is to have technology today. Um, I have my smartphone with me at all times. I check my email religiously. We all have these great things. We've got Facebook and Twitter and websites and all this wonderful stuff that businesses need. However, um, how many times have you been in a room with somebody and their phone will buzz or beep or to light up? It's human nature to look down. What am I missing? What is yeah, that? Is yeah, it important? Sure is it, it is. important? Yeah. And, um, and so Kathy Graham also presented on that, the deadly four, talking about, you know, your distractions and how to stay focused and really pinpointing what is important. Because if you think about how businesses and our climate has changed over the years, we didn't have these distractions years ago. True. Um, and I'm not saying that my father is old. He is not. He's a very wise man. But his business today is much different than it was 25 years ago and even 10 years ago. So um, we want to empower business owners to take advantage of all this great stuff that's out there that can help you grow your business and be in touch with people and engage people, but also, you know, how to prioritize. And then also piggyback on nothing's going to replace this. You and I face talking to face, face to right. face. Eyeball to eyeball. And eyeball to eyeball. And the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce produces 114 events and programs in a year. Wow. 114 in a year. So Now, when is this, uh, again, when is the date on this, uh, Kathy, uh, coming to the chamber? It is May 22nd. May it's the 2 Friday two. morning, May 2 2. May the 2 2. At 8 o'clock in the morning. And all this information is on our website. Okay. I always feel like I don't breathe when I come on your show because I'm <laughs> so excited. Oh, this is, this is. Well, take a Go break. to our website or yeah. call us or yeah. come by and see us. We're right there on William Street. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we are, we are growing. Um, we're getting new businesses joining every single day, and we're so pleased to have 547 um, businesses oh, that are wonderful. engaged in, in the Chamber of Commerce. Well, I was going to ask you about that. Uh, uh, now, this is for Chamber members, but now uh -huh. if there is someone watching who wants to get more information about becoming a Chamber member, it's so easy. That's Tell me so how easy. to become a Chamber member. Just, you can go to our website for more information, right. but, you know, I would would definitely encourage people to call and, and ask to speak to me or one of our staff members um, so we can sit down one-on-one -on -one and explain what it means, one, um, and that's great when people join, but what we want people to do is join and take full advantage of the opportunities right. within the chamber. So even though our website is beautiful and packed with jam-packed with information, <laughs> um, things resonate with me much better if you talk with somebody, and yes. we are more than happy to, to sit down and talk with you about the opportunities within the chamber. Unfortunately, you can't always speak to someone face-to-face -face or person-to-person -person or on right. the phone. That's when you should be going to the website and right. then go 
go to the That's chamber right. and, and, and see Kate or see Laura, see That's Melody, right. see Janet or anybody there at That's the right. Chamber of Commerce office. Tell me about That's your right. staff. Oh, we have the best staff. Aren't they we great? have a, an incredible staff. Janet Brock um, has been at the chamber for 12 years. Um, she is the Director of Operations and Finance. Um, and she start, she oversees the Wayne Charitable um, Partnership, the Wayne Education Network, mm -hmm. um, the leadership program. So she wears lots of hats in the right. chamber, as does everybody. Laura Landers um, has been at the chamber a couple of years. She does all of our marketing and events. So those 114 programs and events I talked to you about, those are her babies, so mm -hmm. to speak. And yeah. she does a phenomenal job. She does. Linking everything that we do with social media and you know all all the communication aspect of it charity johnson um came on board three months after i did right. so she's been there for right at eight months she is our membership coordinator so when you join or if you've got questions as a member she is this um wonderful smiling gracious face to help you you know see what yeah. you can take advantage of within the chamber and then we have two part-time employees linda murray um, and Amanda Salmon, and they do a great job. And they are they are receptionists as well as helping with our different committees. And, and um, they are the usually the first smiling face that you encounter or the first voice you hear, <laughs> right. and uh, and do a great job. So, oh, yes. well, that's our uh, Chamber of Commerce staff. And I, I said Melody. I meant to say Charity. Charity. I knew it was a happy name. Not, it is a happy, a happy name. name. That's <laughs> all I wanted to say. It is another happy name. Yeah. Anyway, uh, all right, now this is uh, for the 22nd of May, this, mm -hmm. this program with Kathy, and that is a great program. And you have time to join the chamber and become a part of this as well. That's right. Very that's quickly. Right. What else is happening? Well, so that's a big piece of May, but you know, and I'll tell you, earlier in the month, we were very um, fortunate to celebrate um, students graduating from the Junior Leadership Program. Oh, yes. So under the chamber, we have the Wayne Education Network, and um, part of that is a Junior Leadership Program where juniors in high school um, these are, there's a represent, at least one student from every school in Wayne County, and that is to include public, private, and homeschooled students. They apply to be a part of this program, mm -hmm. and, um, and one day a month during the course of the program, it is a, um, um, a smaller version of the Leadership Wayne program, so they get an inside look into Wayne County, so government and education and all the pieces wow. of Wayne County and business yeah. and industry. Oh, yeah. Now. When you go, I went to the um, graduation just a few weeks ago, and it was an evening thing, and, and you hear from the class president who speaks and talks about the program, and you look around the room, and um, I think people in Wayne County probably think I have emotional problems because I cry, <laughs> I'm very tenderhearted, <laughs> and I sat in my seat and held back tears because you think about what these students are doing. They're juniors in high school. Many of them will, whether they stay locally to further their education or they go off to school, the hope is that they go off or they stay here, whatever, they further their education, but they come back home. Mm -hmm. They come back yeah. home. Yeah. Um, and, you know, so often smaller communities compete with larger communities, be it Raleigh or Charlotte or whatever. And to see what has happened in Wayne County over the last 10 years and the opportunities and the quality of life, I mean, there's some exciting things going on. Yeah. And I love listening to these students say, I've lived here my whole life and I had no idea about blank. Whatever blank was, mm -hmm. I had no idea. So um, that was exciting. And on the heels of that, the, the Leadership Wayne program, which is the adult version, um, and I had the opportunity um, to go through that four years ago um, when um, I worked at the credit union, had the opportunity to go through it. And it's a nine month program. And you know, you think, how often do you in your own jobs think, well, I don't have a full day to commit once a month to go do this. I'm busy. I've got this. I am so thankful for the opportunity that I had to go because I didn't know all this stuff was in Wayne County and I didn't know how a lot of things work. So and incorporated in both the junior and the adult leadership are leadership skills. Mm -hmm. And we all need those. I oh, don't yes. care what profession somebody's sure. going in sure. or what your background is mm -hmm. um, or, <clears throat> or what you think your future holds. You instill leadership qualities and skills and opportunities in any age person, young, young child, a junior in high school, or a full-blown adult who mm -hmm. has grown kids. You then become a better person and we're able to be more productive citizens in our community and in our yeah. families mm -hmm. and in our lives and 
that, my friends, is a beautiful thing. <laughs> so that's been very exciting. Very that's exciting. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. I, I dare say that most people who live in Wayne County are not aware of everything that Wayne County has that's to right. offer. They, you just don't know everything that's here. And once you do know, you are amazed at everything right. we have right here in Wayne County. And you know, I'll, I'll throw this in. I mean, I learn stuff every day. If you're not happy with something that's going on or you'd like to see something happen, I challenge you to go out there and figure out how you can place your hands on it. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite stories about a former board of directors of ours was um, he, he expressed that, you know, he was like, well, I just, I don't know why the chamber doesn't do this. Well, somebody challenged him and said, join our board, make it happen. Mm -hmm. And this gentleman joined the board mm -hmm. and made it happen. Did he now? Trifled. And, wow. and so, you know, it's those concerned mm -hmm. citizens who step up and go, what about this? Mm -hmm. Or I want to stand up for this. Or have y'all ever looked at this issue? And um, those, that's how you make a difference in your community. Um, you know, too often, many of us have been guilty of sitting at home complaining about something. Well, is there something that we can do to help make it better? And I think if we challenge ourselves, you know, we will continue to grow and, and affect those around us, and hopefully in a wow. positive way. Wow. Wow. Kate, I'm sorry, we're out of time. I could just let you go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. But we're going to stop sometime. Okay. We're going to stop now. We're going to save a couple more for, sure. uh, for the next time you're here. I'll share. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Our friend is Kate Daniels. She's the president of the Mount Olive Chamber of Commerce. Wayne County. What did I you say? You said Mount Olive. Oh, did With I? Julie Beck. Wait Shout a minute. out yeah. to you. Love Julie, too. Hi, Love Julie. Love Julie Beck, Mount Olive but Chamber of Commerce. Wayne, Wayne County. I don't know where that came from. Wayne County Chamber of Commerce. You're starting some rumors now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's my age, I guess. Stop yeah. it. Right. Regardless of all that. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank Kate Daniels you. of the Wayne County <laughs> Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, Kate. Thank you.
And we're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Yes, we are. What's going on? Well, wanted to remind everyone we have the Farmer's Market. That'll be tomorrow at Herman Park Center in the parking lot. And they'll be there from about 8 in the morning until dusk. Come on out and check them out. Saturday, this past Saturday, we were out at Cornerstone Commons from 8 until 12. What are you checking? I'm looking for dusk. Dusk <laughs> o'clock. Dusk o'clock. Yes. Okay, well, well, we'll wait on that one. Okay. But don't forget, come out and see us. Support your local farmers. Yes, indeed. Support your local farmers. Also, a couple of things uh, to tell you about. First of all, <laughs> Wayne County employees, uh, we're challenging the city again for our blood drive. Was it that time again? Yes, it is. Oh, boy. Now, you all go. beat us last time. I know. We the city did. won the first time. Right. You won the second time. Right. Mm, the toss-up. June 11th is a date. Okay. Okay, June 11th is a date on this. And uh, we'll have more on that as we get closer to that date. May 31st. Uh, free airplane rides for youngsters between the ages of 8 and 17. Oh boy. Now parents That's or a legal fun. guardian must be on hand to authorize their children to fly in these airplanes. But out at the... Uh, is that Mount Olive or is that Goldsboro? This is at Goldsboro. The okay. uh, Wayne Executive Jet Port. I got a note here from Doug Lancaster out there who's putting all this together. Sponsored by the Experimental Aviation Association Young oh. Eagles Program at the Wayne Executive Jet Port. So if you have a young, younger young person who, who was interested in, in flying, this is a great opportunity. It's from 10 till 3, Saturday, May 31st, at the airport out at uh, Pikeville. It doesn't cost a thing. Absolutely free. That's nice. It is very nice. Oh you know, for, for people who have just never ridden in an airplane, who just want the experience, mm -hmm. and who just want to feel what it's like to, to you know, take off and land and look over your county, fantastic opportunity. What, first time you do it, it is really exhilarating. And then you kind of kind of get used to it, but the first time it's fantastic. I agree. Fantastic. I agree. <laughs> All right. That's it that's for it. today. Yes, it is. That's going to wrap Great it up show. for today. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, so join us then for whatever it is we do here. We're still <laughs> trying to figure that one out. So until tomorrow, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best, and this is what's happening in your community.